Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey there, <laughs> I'm Caleb, and this is my Bible. At first glance, it might seem like 66 random books, but truth is, there's a master plan here. Every word is inspired by God. Dozens of writers wrote down the words of God's story over hundreds of years. How God created us and loves us so much, he made a way to rescue us, even when we turned our backs on him. These writers were committed to sharing God's deep love for his people. And I have five stories right here to show us what true commitment can look like. We start off with a reminder from the Apostle Paul to the believers at the church in Corinth. In a race, all the runners run. All who take part in the games train hard to get a crown that will not last. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. When it comes to faith, there are two things that matter most, loving God and loving others. And it takes training to put them into practice. Now we're headed back a few books to the first book of the New Testament, Matthew. Here, Jesus shares a story. Two guys both have amazing plans to build their new beachfront homes. But while one chooses to build his house on a sturdy rock, the other one picks out a nice sandy lot. The homes, they look spectacular, until a rough storm blows in. Then there's only one house that's ready for the blast. Let's page over two books to Luke. As usual, Jesus has set time aside to talk with God, but his closest followers are curious. They're like, we know it's important to pray, but how are we supposed to do it? Do they need three hours or a lot of fancy words? Right then and there, Jesus gives them a model. And spoiler alert, talking to God doesn't require thee and thou. <laughs> Back to Matthew now to check in with Jesus' friend, Peter. There's been a lot of talk about who Jesus really is. John the Baptist or Elijah, another prophet maybe? But Jesus turns the question back to his friends. Who do you say I am? And as usual, it's Peter who has the fire and guts to make a bold statement. We wrap up the month in the book of Mark. Here, Jesus and his friends are hanging out in the temple near the offering box. Lots of people put in handfuls of gold coins, but one widow puts in exactly two small pennies. Kind of cheap, huh? Except that Jesus claims she's given more than all the others. True commitment means choosing to follow God and putting that into practice in every area of your life. I sure can't wait to see how it plays out in you and me.